Oriole Park at Camden Yards is honored for its kindness. The Birdland community is making national headlines for their acts of compassion. Tracy Leong explains why the ballpark is being recognized. More than 250 nominations poured in, and Camden Yards made the cut. They're now in the running to be named one of the nicest places in America. That's my baby. Every weekend home game, the Orioles recognize an inspiring individual. Recently, a middle schooler by the name of Thomas Moore was introduced. Fans went crazy when they heard his story. The O's honored Thomas Moore of Bowie for his compassion. The 11 year old donated his hair to make wigs for cancer patients this past fall. I just want to give, and like, I don't even need anything back. I just want to give them all the things they need because I, I feel like they will be happy and. I'm, I'm already happy. Thomas was inspired to help patients after he saw a picture of a little girl with cancer on social media. A noble act that took two and a half years to grow. Everybody can help. It doesn't matter how big or small you are. Everybody can help. <laughs> Taking time to recognize remarkable community members like Thomas, in addition to providing a friendly ballpark experience, is why Oriole Park at Camden Yards is a finalist for the special Reader's Digest contest that recognizes the nicest places in America. This is about ordinary people and where they are extraordinary, where they are acting kind towards each other, where they are exhibiting positive ways of life. There is still plenty of time left to make sure Oriole Park wins this competition. The winner will be announced. This fall. Reporting from the ballpark, Tracy Leong, WJZ Eyewitness News. A beautiful park and beautiful things going on there. Now, the Town Rock Hall on the Eastern Shore is also one of the 10 finalists for a link to vote. Visit our website, cbsbaltimore.com.